Alright, so here's a little problem that I ran into adding the ambient lighting to the rear doors. I ordered the parts for the front door since you cannot find the parts for the rear door for the ambient lighting. And what I noticed here is where it's supposed to actually go. Since this is for the front door, obviously it's going to be a little bit longer. But it's a little bit too long for this. But I cannot find a part for the rear door. Apparently what I've heard is on these Fusion here, they don't have the ambient lighting on the rear doors. So, what I'm going to try doing, instead of putting where it's supposed to go, I might move it back a little bit. Maybe right to here. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? So I just moved it from this notch here, just to back here. I'll just put a screw in there and have something where it holds it into place. And call that good enough. So I've already bolted it down to where it should go, or where I put it at least. It doesn't really belong there. And it looks like it does pretty good. So I can just make my cut out of where I need to be, just from one end this end here to this end here. For it to shine through, then I can just run my wires into the back here where you see where it goes. And maybe if it's the same size, screw it into here. If not, I'll have to find another solution on how to do it. Well, not the best of job. But it does work. Like I said, this is supposed to be for the front door, not the rear. But since they don't make the rear, apparently, I was able to just kind of wing it. That's the way it goes. Then you just run your wire. Along here. And you add your little light over here. So that's the back door so far. All right, so another problem I ran into is, since this is a back driver's side door, the driver's side and the uh, driver's front and the rear door apparently are different on the locks. On the driver's front door, you got the lock in the back. The back door, you got it all the way up to the front of the door panel. So this little fella, it ain't gonna reach all the way over there. So what I have planned here, Tuck that behind this cushion here, get that out of the way. What I am gonna do is de-pin the light for this one here. Take out the pin connectors and pin it for this one here. So take the wires out of that one and just pin it into this connector and we'll see how that works out. So I was able to de-pin the old connector and pin the other connector only one I need is just the power one. Everything else runs off of the ambient lighting and the ground and whatnot. So I only needed just one wire. The ground is already grounded off to there, I believe. So we'll figure out. 